Hi, and welcome to Sensory Percussion 2 Drum School, your guide to the software component of the Sensory Percussion sound system. In this video, we're going to go over the built-in recording feature, which allows you to quickly and easily record up to 16 tracks of sensory percussion audio straight to a folder on your computer. So you can see I've got the preset Phantasma keys from the Sunhouse library loaded. This is what it sounds like when I play Tom 1. And we'll find the recording buttons down here on the hardware panel. By default, the main mix is record enabled, which means it's ready to be recorded. So all I have to do to start recording is press this red record button. You can see that it's filled in, which means that it's recording. So I'll go ahead and play a little bit. And this timer tells me for how long I've been recording. And when I want to stop, I'll just click the record button again. Now to find the file I've just recorded, I can click this folder icon and it will take me directly to the default file location. You'll notice that the file is automatically named with the date, time, session name, and main mix. And we can listen to a preview to double check that everything was recorded correctly. So that's the super quick recording method that you can do with a single click. But if you want to go deeper and customize some things, that's possible as well. First, if we open the audio settings window, the shortcut for that is command comma, and we can go to the recording tab. We can change the recording location. We can change the file format from AIF to WAV or FLAC, and we can choose between 24-bit and 16-bit audio. The last feature of recording that we haven't covered yet is capturing multi-track audio. This mix selection button allows you to enable or disable different global submixes to be recorded as separate files. If we go to the mix view of this preset and play Tom 1, you can see that it's coming out of three different mixes. The main mix, mix out three, which is the Tom mix, and mix out five, which is the chord mix. So I'll click on this mix selection button and I'm going to enable mix out three and mix out five. Now I'll press record and play a bit. Now I'll stop recording and click the folder icon again. And you can see that we have three new files. One is the main mix, and one is mix out three, and the other is mix out five. So if we listen to mix out three, it's just the tom layer. If we listen to mix out five, it's just the chords layer. So whether you're just looking for a quick way to record your idea before you forget it, or you want to create separated stems that you can drop into your DAW to mix and master later, the built-in recording feature in Sensory Percussion 2 has got you covered. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more tutorial videos.